Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So I am playing with quite a lot of products today. So I already have this Milk Hydra Primer on my face. I have this L'Oreal Lumi Magic uh, Concealer. Light pan. It says it's a highlighting pen but I'm using it as a concealer, you know. And then I have some Mio Doll Face Compact Powder and last but not least I also have this Aster Skin Match Bronzer. So I'm going to continue on. I'm going to put on some Belle Cosmetics Blush. This is Secret Tail. Secret Tail. Yeah, Secret Tail Blush. Soft. Soft Blush. Okay, well it says blush and soft, but here it says uh, soft blush, so who knows. Anyway, it's 01 in cashmere coral, and apparently it's going to expire this month. You know what? Makeup expires when you run out of it, or it gets destroyed in your makeup bag. So makeup never expires. Let no one tell you otherwise. Makeup does not expire. You just use it until you get bored of it, it's destroyed, or it's completely used up. So. I'm gonna scoot you in. Oh, wait. I'm going to be using this powder brush from H&M. Um, I like the shape of it because it's nice and domed. I do have a video about this brush, so I will link that one below. There will be a lot of video links down below this time. Anyway, scoot you in and put this on my face. Ha. You are now a little bit closer, so let's see what this yeah, it's broken. I break everything. It happens. So it's nice and cushiony here. And what I like about this blush, blush, is that it's quite uh, coral. It's quite red. It's not dark red, very striking red, but it's this kind of a pinkish red. It has a lot of pigmentation, so you shouldn't go too much. But if you layer it nicely, goes on the brush also really nice. But if you layer it nicely, it gives you this really nice glow. So putting on my brush and now just going to get my creepy smile on. Very creepy. I'm going to go right here at the tops of my cheeks. See quite a lot if I just touch it touched it, so going to touch the other side as well, and just going to blend it in, blend it up. I like blending it in and I like blending it up. So it all comes together with my below cheek <laughs> contour. So. have gone a bit wild with the blush today but it's okay I'm going to just going to keep rolling with it rolling with it and if I can't use anything I'm going to go and cry into a pillow <laughs> this brush is really compact so I guess that's why but it's okay if you think you put on too much you know usually it doesn't show some people might might think you're a clown but you can just laugh it off and say but I am one and I know I look good. I'm a very good looking clown. Anyway, <laughs> I'll check off camera. Is it too much? If it's too much, I'll just put some more powder on and kind of, oh, it's not a mess. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to continue on because this is my time to play with makeup. I don't have a lot of opportunities because I work a lot. Anyway, so I'm gonna see you soon once I'm done putting everything together and I hope it doesn't look too much. So, see you back when I'm pretty. <laughs> and this is the finished look. So it comes out. I didn't go too dark with the blush after all. I think it gives a really nice color. So my camera completely died, so I have to finish up like this. So all the videos I made are getting the same ending. The ones I managed to finish before it died, well that one is being a little bit different. Anyway, what I ended up using with the whole look is the Milk Hydro Primer. I really like this one. So I really like this one. It made my pores smaller, at least I hope so. And I really do like it, so do uh, suggest using this. So milk one. Uh, then we had the Lumi Magique L'Oreal Paris highlighter pen, also known as my concealer. I do like it. I don't know how much it covered up, but it does bring the light directly where it has to be. So really nice. 
and I'm happy I used it. So after that one, I went in with the Mio Doll Face Compact Powder. Again, I really like this one. I've used this a lot. I like the coverage. I like how it goes on. I like how it is. So do recommend I like it. Then I went in with the Aster bronzer. So the bronzer is really nice. I've used it a lot. I think it goes on well with my skin tone. Look at my pretty necklace. I like my necklace. I haven't worn it anywhere yet. So I went in with the Aster bronzer. I do like it too. Um, it's, I've been using it for three or four years now and I still have it. So you can use it for a really long time. It doesn't take a lot and it goes on really nicely. Then the blush, blush from um, Belle. Uh, I do like it. It, does, it didn't go on too much. So I'm really happy that it didn't go on too heavy. So for the eyes, what I used, I went in with the must haves. I like it. So. I do recommend it. Then I went in with this Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. Do like it, give a really nice golden glow. Yes, I do like it. Then the Biss Liner, I like the liner. Gives a really blurry look, blurs out really nice. I like the blurry effect. Then it was the Revers, Revers um, Mascara, remember Dora. Yeah, mascara, I like the color. I like how big it made my eyes. So that was really nice. Then I went in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Again, really nice, do recommend. And finally, the setting spray is all nicer. So there are going to be videos about everything. I'm so sad my camera died, so I can't film proper, you know, proper goodbyes for everything one by one. So that is really sad. So you're going to see a video of me enjoying myself and this look because why wouldn't I? It looks amazing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my little video and I hope to see you all again soon watching something else and thank you and the later ones are going to be with the correct outro because then my camera wasn't dead yet. So thank you so much and